Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that has been requested for a while now and I'm going to show you guys how I make my Sims. In this tutorial, I'm going to basically go over my thought process when it comes to making a new Sim, where I get my inspiration, where I get my favorite CC, what my favorite CC at the moment is, what my favorite CC of all time is. Basically a step-by-step -step tutorial about how I make my Sims because you guys always compliment my Sims. <laughs> Thank you so, so much keep inflating my ego please all right we are here in cast and this is the pre-made sim that has spawned to my screen she always spawns it's always her okay so the first thing you want to do before you pile on a bunch of cc onto your sim is you want to make sure that they look good without cc okay don't just start going in and putting on skin details and makeup and yada 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 and making them look completely different than they do now because the base version of themselves matters the cc less version of themselves matters especially if you plan on actually playing with the sim because whenever they decide to have kids or whatever that sim that child sim is going to come out looking like a carbon copy of their cc less self of their vanilla self and if your sim is ugly in their vanilla cc less form we have a problem we don't do ugly sims here okay so we're gonna go and start working on the vanilla version of her face before we get into anything else so what i like to do first is i'll take off any accessories and any makeup they have on and then i gotta think to myself who am i gonna make exactly what race is this sim gonna be what color is their hair gonna be what type of vibe do i want them to embody and typically if i can't find inspiration in my own mind what i like to do is hop onto pinterest but today i've decided i'm going to make a sim based off of avanti she is the actress from Mean Girls, the reboot. She played Karen. She is honestly one of the most drop dead gorgeous women in Hollywood right now. And I'm obsessed with her. And she's just so beautiful. For her skin tone, I'm going to guess it's something more neutral. Maybe warm, actually. I just go through all of them and I see which one would work the best. I'm thinking one of these ones. Probably something. Maybe that. Maybe something like that. If I don't like it later, if I don't think it matches her well, then I can always change it. I think for now, I'm gonna go with this one. All right, next I'm gonna work on her features. So from what it looks like, looks like she has a pretty predominant chin, big lips, and these eyelids do not match hers at all. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way to the bottom. Okay, so she does seem to have like, ooh, not those eyebrows. I was gonna say a bit bushier eyebrows that are slanted upwards a bit. It. What I basically do, yeah, is I just go through pretty much everything. Ta making a sim for me does take a minute. It does take a while because I like to really be thorough in the sim that I'm making. These are custom content eyebrows. Most of my custom content eyebrows, if not all of them, are by Praline Sims. Yeah, pretty much all of them are by Praline Sims and Peach Fairy, apparently. I'm just trying to find her the perfect pair. Can always move them up and tilt them more as well. Ooh, I figured these ones are going to be good. I don't know who these are by, but like I said, I will leave everything down below in the description. Something like this probably, but a little, a little skinnier. Ooh, ooh, those are nice. Seems like she has black hair or maybe like a really, really dark brown. Yeah, that's nice. Trust the process, y'all. Okay, trust the process. I'm just getting started. I'm just basically getting the base of her face ready. We can always change this later on, okay? Next is her eyes. She looks like she does have more hooded eyes. These are not hooded. She definitely has cat eyes too, so that's something I'm trying to look out for. I also really desperately need to remove the EA Lashes with the EA Lashes mod, but I don't know why. That mod glitches out my sims sometimes, so I've been avoiding it. Obscurus makes a lot of great cast stuff as well as northern siberia winds which i was gonna say might also have the perfect eyes that i'm looking for like those look pretty spot on oh my god oh no where did i get these from these are also nice too hmm. oh i'm conflicted i'm conflicted okay am i either gonna go with this one or this one? What do we think? I think I'm gonna go with this one because because this has more skin in this area. And then we can always go into detail edit mode and just tweak it a bit. Like I said, she has very cat eye-like eyes. So I'm gonna go with that. And since we are on her eyes, she does have brown eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. There's a bunch of overrides and presets here as well. Some of them are spooky and I don't know why I still have them. Let me find a good one, this example. Did I get rid of them? 
I guess I did, because on the ones I'm talking about, they're like these alien eyes that some of my sims have. You've definitely seen it in some of my episodes. Did I un uninstall it? Because I don't see it. I thought I just saw it on one of my sims the other day. Whatever. Okay, I have a lot of them. Um, I want to go with a dark brown. So, no, that one's creepy. That one's too light. I'm going to arch these up a bit as well. Curve them up a bit and then pull them out slightly make her eyes a tiny bit smaller and also bring them apart just a little bit okay her lips let's see what i have a lot of northern siberia winds some from twisted cat and a lot from obscurus she does have very pouty lips but also she has a lot of curvature in the top lip it's hard to say curvature or pout or maybe a little of both this one's a little bit of both and i can go ahead and shape it make it a little bigger if i need to oh my god <gasps> It's kind of starting to look like her. Ah! I love when I achieve this. Oh my God, she's so cute. You know what, her hair is also pissing me off. I'm gonna put a hair back that doesn't really get in the way of her face. I'm also gonna change it. Uh, is she like more of a dark brown or a black? Yeah, I could say more of a dark brown. I also have the universal hair overlay, so we'll get to that later. And I'm starting to think the skin tone is definitely too light for her. I was gonna say, yeah, maybe like that one. Maybe that one, a little tiny bit lighter. There we go. Oh, I'm getting excited now. Okay, and her nose is, what? what is it called? The shape, is it called spoon nose? I don't know. Ooh, here's a good one. The shape is perfect. We just need to make the tip a little bigger. This a little wider. Maybe this a little bit more narrow and bring her nostrils forward just a bit. <laughs> it looks like Vanica from Shein. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. Trust the process. We're getting there. Gonna move her eyes down a tad bit as well as her lips just a little bit. Also, I'm gonna take off her skin details because she has this birthmark right here, which she doesn't have in real life. Aww. She's cute though. <laughs> Might not look like her yet, but she's cute. Okay, I'm actually gonna make her nose a little bit more prominent. Is that too prominent? Maybe, maybe a little too prominent. Maybe a little, there we go. There we go. She does seem to have a more pointier chin. So maybe like that. And her jawline is pretty accurate as well as the cheekbones, in my opinion. I'm gonna look up another image of her. Okay, maybe make her jawline a little less harsh and then her cheekbones, bring them down just a little bit. Maybe a little less on the chin as well. Actually, no, her chin, her chin, yeah, it's pretty prominent. Bring the chin out a bit because I don't want my Sims to be chinless. Like I said, it's not gonna be a carbon copy of her, but I think I'm doing okay when it comes to the inspiration. The only thing that's probably throwing me off right now is maybe the eyebrows a bit and maybe the eyes a bit. It's hard to see. Okay, I found another good photo of her. I think her eyebrows need to be lifted a little bit more and curved a little bit more. Span out a little bit more. And then maybe we'll work on her eyelids just a bit because they're a little too downwards. For now, I'm happy. I'm happy with how she looks. Like I said, I think the inspiration is good. You know what, actually? <laughs> what I always do. She's a little too square in the face and Ivanica has more of a rounder face. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. I think that looks looks close enough to her. Now it's on to her body. I'm gonna take off all of her clothes. I think we can all tell from the Mean Girls movie that Ivanica is blessed up top. So I'm gonna give her slightly bigger boobs. Girlie's blessed all over, oh my God. She's literally a Barbie doll. She should have been in the Barbie movie if anything. Okay, I think that's good. Congratulations. You've done it. You've made the vanilla version of your sim. Now you can have fun and start on with the CC. So the next thing I do is I go into face and then I go into skin details. And that's where I start putting all my presets. As you can see, I have a lot of them, but the main preset that I use pretty much for 90% of my sims, I'm pretty sure all the Volkovs have it. I'm pretty sure everybody from the Not So Berry has this one. It is this one. It is the Gaia Skin Blend by Divine Cap. And it is just, oh, it's beautiful. It kind of actually looks like her. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. This skin blend is essential. I use it for majority of my Sims, but I'm trying to use it a lot less because even though it is the perfect skin blend, I don't want to give my Sims the same face and drum, whatever. So I have a few other ones that I have in mind. I do have a lot installed, but I just don't tend to use a lot of them. When I'm not using this one by Divine Cap, I'll also lean towards pretty much these five in this row. So there's Mercuria, Strudel, Butterish, Fresco, and Olympia. This one's a little bit more realistic and it's it's not really making her look like her. This one, I don't really like on her, nor do I like this one, nor do I like this one, 
nor do I like this one. It takes away from her features. This one accentuates the features. That's why I tend to gravitate towards this one by Divine Cap. And it looks like I'll be doing it again today. Um, Yeah, I think that's the one I'm gonna go with because it just looks so good on every single sim that I put it on. And I just, I don't I don't see, you know, why if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Oh, there's some boobies on my screen. Let me get y'all, let me get y'all away from that. That's from Wicked Whims. I have so much stuff, it's not even funny. I also love to use on my Sims these OK Rue miscellaneous details. They just add more to your Sims face. This one, it looks like it colors their upper lip a little bit. This one adds, what is it called? Smile lines to your lips. This one accentuates the Cupid's bow. This one gives them a little bit of contour underneath their lower lip. Oh, cheekbones, wow. <laughs> This is nose contour, more nose contour. What the hell happened here? Gives your sim some darker eyelids, which actually I think would look nice on her sim. And the beautiful thing about these miscellaneous details is that if you scroll down a bit more, you can find more of them. So you can add on, oh, not that one. You can add on even more details on top of the ones that you've added before. They have eyeliner, they have dimples, they have under eye bags. We have face light and pores by Fayish. It adds pores onto your Sims' skin. Give them a little bit more realism. These ones kind of look nice, but also takes away from her eyes, so I don't think I'll be using them. There's also these little details. I forget who this is by again but this is like just like okay ruse it adds more skin details to your sims face more contouring more smile lines whatever it is looking up close at avanica it might be good to add some contour on her nose yeah something something like that she doesn't seem to have any moles even though i have lots of mole options what are these oh yeah, it's like a lip override. Okay. I've never seen this. Not once. I must have downloaded it with a sim dump or something. They're cute, but they're too pigmented. Ooh, wait, actually, I like this one. Ooh, or even this one. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Custom hairlines are also a thing in this game, but I tend to not use them because most of them are alpha. And if you're wearing a certain hairstyle, like she's currently wearing a side part, then you're gonna see this and it's gonna be very awkward. This one might look nice though. Might is the keyword. Um, I'll leave it on her for now because I'm going to change her hair to black because dark brown isn't cutting it. These are lash presets, but I tend not to use lash presets because they tend to clash with custom content jewelry like bracelets and rings. So I tend to steer clear of them. You see how much junk, how much absolute shit I have <laughs> in my game that I need to take out. Let me see if there's any more little details I wanna add on to her. I I don't really think there is. I was gonna say maybe some highlight around her nose and her mouth. She does seem to have that in real life because she's literally perfect. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I think it looks kind of like her. And there are other skin details that I have available. I have some in the brow category, which is more of OK Roo's details. I have some in the cheek category. I have some in the eye category, and I definitely have some in the mouth category for sure. I have body veins for men. Since when? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be putting that on every single male sim of mine. Mm -hmm. Can I just test this on her to see what they look like? Or do they not show up? <gasps> yes, they do. You're kidding me. Oh my God, I'm tearing up. I'm tearing up. Oh, I love a man with veins. Oh, I love a man with veins. You know who looks so good with me? My favorite white boy, Finley Broke. Oh, I'm putting these on Finley the second I'm done with this video. Okay, enough of that. We have a lip mask too. Ooh, these are nice. This this actually adds detail. It's 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 a little bit better than the other one I had. That one kind of looks like her lips too. Okay, yep, I'm sold. Maybe I should remove the other one. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. No, I'll keep it gives her a nice little sheen. Then we have the body category. I typically don't use the presets that I have installed. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them, but I've never really used them. I've only used them really for Alexis. We have tattoos, but Avanica doesn't have any tattoos, but sometimes there's other things in here. Like I was hoping for the universal hair override by Josh Sayo, but that one, this is not it. This is like a blush. Oh, it's like a lighting. Okay, that I never use that in my game. But that lighting that people add to their Sims' nose, the shadow, I hate that. I hate it. I'm a big hater of that. <laughs> Do what you want in your game, but you will never see me use that in mine. We have vitiligo in here. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I hate this. I hate this with a burning fucking passion. I'm sorry. It's 
controversial, I know, but that's just my opinion. Do whatever you want in your game. This is just talking about me, okay? Oh, here's what I'm talking about. These are little cherry overrides that make your Sims girlies look good. I have quite a few of them now that I think about it. Oh my god, I do. I don't even remember installing these. Give them a little push, a little squeeze, make them look natural. I like the one I saw up here. I think, was it this one? Well, that one's nice, but I, was, I like this one. It's very natural, the way they sit. I don't want to overdo it or anything. So what else is there when it comes to making a base sim? I don't think there's really anything else I could do. Um, maybe one thing is you should install sliders. To be honest, I don't know that much about sliders, but I do have a lot of them installed from when I download dumps. And I'm pretty sure some of the movements I make on my sim, some of the ways I change their bodies is due to the sliders and not because it's a base game feature. All right. And then one more thing I'm going to do. Oh God, this is, this is a good reason also to install extra eyes, like eyes up here. What are they called? Like overrides presets is because typically what I do is I'll put their preset on and then I'll put a contact lens over it. This is the one I always use. You guys always ask me and I forget to respond because I'm terrible at work and I find <laughs> terrible. But these are the N149s by Praline. These are the ones I always go towards and I like to put them on my sim. Wow, these made her eyes look really creepy actually. Okay, I'm gonna take that right back off. But I love using these and this is one of them I have installed. I also tend to use these ones. These are Eyes G10 by Gopla, Gop, Gopples Me. Ooh, those ones look really nice on her. Or these ones the N151s by Praline. These are the ones I use on Alexis until she croaked. These ones are a bit more realistic as well because, you know, they have like the red in the corners of the eyes like human eyes have. But sometimes you can't use these contact lenses because there's face paint that you want to use. And the one thing I'm going to be using, I don't actually, I think it's in the category of face paint, is I wanted to put a bindi on Avanica's Sim because she wears one in real life. But since I have a bindi on her now, I can't use my custom contact lenses. So for that very reason, make sure you have some of these eyes installed. All right, it's time to finish up with this tutorial. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some hair on her, some makeup on her, and then find her a traditional Indian sari. And Vanika has super long hair and it is darker than dark brown. I wanna say it is closer to being black. Not this blue black, but black. See, the hairline doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's it, it looks funny up close, but from afar, it does kind of bring the hair together but at the same time she doesn't have a widow's peak so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and take that off now that i'm thinking about it i do pay a lot of attention to detail good god this one's cute so is this one that one's gorgeous too oh my god i feel like it really does look like her i'm so happy i thought i was gonna be terrible at this i did a damn good job oh Oh, I love this hair. I love this hair so much. I use this on Donala all the time in my Model Simdison save. I'm also thinking I'm gonna be putting her in my Model Simdison save. <gasps> Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that is gorgeous. This hair is by Sim Andy. I'll definitely leave a few of my favorite Sims hair CC creators down below. And just so you guys do know, I actually do have a favorite CC creators list. It is on my Tumblr. I will leave it down below. It hasn't been updated in almost two years, but it still has a lot of important CC creators on there. CC creators that I still use to this day. The thing is, is this hair too black? I feel like it should be a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her dark brown hair, okay? And then if you go into the makeup category, and if you install the Universal Hair Overlay by Josh Seo, the Universal Hair Overlay, what I could do is I can put black on top of this and then dim it a bit. Oh my god, yeah. So it's more like a natural black. So I feel like the other black is like jet black. Like you dye your hair jet black. This is more of like a very natural, calm black, I would say. Yeah, I like that. That looks good on her. Honestly, the universal hair overlay, if you download anything from this video, it is such a great thing to have on you because this, the hair colors in Sims are limited and that's mainly because we don't have a color wheel, which we should have, but for now, this is a great alternative. All right, and then I'm gonna find her a sari. I know that some come with the wedding stories pack. And this photo shoot she took, that's like a blue and white one. Okay, this isn't blue and white, this is blue and yellow, but it is very cute. And then for shoes, since you can't see them, I'm just gonna give her some basic flats somewhere. Yep, those will do. I'm gonna go ahead and also give her some custom fingernails. I'm gonna give her French tips and I'm a sucker for some French tips. CC nails are a must. Indian women are known for looking amazing in gold 
gold jewelry. So I'm gonna give her some of these Aretha gold rings that cover all of her fingers. Heading back up to her face, I'm gonna go ahead and start her makeup now. In this photo, she seems to be wearing eyeliner, some natural eyeshadow, and some pinkish lipstick. I think I have the perfect eyeshadow for that. Isn't it funny how I have so much eyeshadow and I only use maybe five of them? It's hard being a custom content addict. This one is pretty close. I'm just gonna dim it a little bit so it's not too overbearing. She has some winged eyeliner on. This is the one that I always use. It's by Alf C, but I'm not sure if it's gonna look good with her custom eyes. So I'm gonna try another one. I also use this one by Elena Lena. This one by Gopples Me. Oh, I don't like the color. This one's nice too, but then again, see, it's doing that thing. It's because of her custom content eyes. So make sure you have a plethora of eyeliner available. Ooh, that one's nice. It's a little wonky, but it's not nothing, nothing too bad. I think regardless of the eyeliner, it's gonna look wonky at the end because of the eyes. And then next on is to her lips. And same thing, I only use a handful of these lips, even though I have so many, and they're typically all by Praline Sims. These are some great matte ones. It looks like the ones that she has on is matte, and it's like a like a light pink. Use something something like that yeah that looks good we're gonna go ahead and add some gold earrings these are also by praline sims praline is just that girl <laughs> she really is she has everything i swear to god she's probably one of my most used cast creators i really like these ones this is nice look at her she's so gorgeous in real life and in the game. I'm so happy with how she turned out. I really do feel like it does kind of look like her. Oh, I'm forgetting. One more thing is custom eyelashes. You guys always ask me what eyelashes I use because eyelashes in this game tend to uh, not work, especially if you have rings or bracelets on your Sims. The eyelashes I always use pretty much 99% of the time is the ones by Batty Sims. So usually these ones. Oh, those are beautiful on her. Are you kidding me? I have these ones by Batty Sims. I have these ones by Batty Sims for a more dramatic look. These ones are, oh my God insane not my personal taste but i use them all the time on my sims but i think these ones look really nice they don't exactly match like the ones in the photo but they look so good on her how can i pass it up and as for the physical aspect of my sim that's that's it we've made our sim i have successfully made and Vanica, I am so proud of myself. It's not perfect, like I said, but I feel like I did a pretty good job of getting the inspiration down. Okay, I'm gonna talk about just a few more things when it comes to making my Sims before I end this video, and that is gonna be traits. A lot of you guys like to talk about my custom traits. How do I get these custom traits? It's very easy. The main custom traits creator that I use is Vicky Sims, and I use their custom traits version 1.5. Those are the ones that I have that look like kind like this daredevil and heartless and high strong and hyper those are from vicky sims's mods another creator i like to use for custom traits is maple bell and how i have five traits for my sims in cast is the pancake ones more traits in cast mod it gives you two traits for your toddlers three for your children four for your teens and five for your adults and above i typically wait to do traits last because i want to see the sim i've made first and kind of get their vibe since it is Vanica and i am i basically chose her because of Mean Girls, that's how I found out about her existence. I'm going to base it off what I think Karen Smith's traits would be. So let's see, let's go with Childish. Oh, she's so pretty when she smiles. Maybe we should go with Talentless. <laughs> <laughs> generous maybe she's very nice you know she's she's not smart but she's nice that's all that matters natural beauty because she's gorgeous and maybe whimsical we can make her aspiration maybe popularity friend of the world that's great let's do that one i'm gonna make her name avanica and i'm also gonna make it karen smith so her traits are based off of karen smith but this is really you know avanica so you could change the traits if you want or anything pronouns are she her leave her ages is and her voice i feel like she has more of like the sweet voice like a higher pitched sweet voice go ahead speak <laughs> that's fine that's fine i'm not gonna think too much about it and her walk style i'm gonna leave as is i really don't change their walk styles that often and yeah that's it that is how that's my process for making sims from scratch i find some inspiration i use a lot of cc and i just take it from there and i see what i come up with and i just make it gradual i don't try to be perfect or anything obviously she's not a clone of Avanica, but she looks close enough i feel like you could look at her and maybe assume that she is Avanica. and that's it or is it really?
I am posting my first ever Sims dump. And yes, this Sim that I just made in Vanica will be in the Sims dump. <laughs> Along with putting a Vanica Sim up for download on my Patreon, which is at Solita Sims, I will also be adding three other Sims as well who are all on the screen right now. These Sims for download are completely free. All you have to do is go to my Patreon down below to download them. If you'd like to support my Patreon, that is great. You don't have to, obviously, but I'm going to be trying to post on Patreon more often. I'm dabbling with pose making, animations, and down the line, hopefully some custom content making. I've been saying that for two years and I have drafts from Marvelous Designer just sitting in my computer that are waiting to be finished, but we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something from my sim making process. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And comment down below any CC essentials that you have that I should know about. And if you have any questions regarding the sim that I just made, any CC that I left out, whatever it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.